A major meteor shower is predicted to cross our skies tonight. However, if you're keeping an eye to the sky, you may be out of luck. Eyewitness News reporter TJ Del Santo has the details that are new at 530. A meteor shower on Saturday morning has the potential to be a once-in-a-lifetime astronomical event, but there are still quite a few unknowns. Early Saturday morning, we could see one of the best meteor shows in years, or we may barely see anything. There are too many unknowns. What we do know is the source of these meteors, Comet 209P Linear. This is a comet that was very recently discovered in 2004. It's a very dim comet that orbits the sun once every five years. Back in the 1800s, during each orbit, it left trails of debris in space. They'll move into the orbit of the Earth for the first time this month. That's where the uncertainty begins. We've never seen these meteors before, and what we see depends upon how active the comet was in the 1800s, another unknown. We haven't encountered it before, so we don't know exactly how many bits of dust there are per cubic mile of space, and that gives us a, a uh, a lot of uncertainty in predicting how many meteors we could see. We may begin to see some meteors Friday evening as we start to move into the debris trails, but the peak is expected between 2 and 4 a.m. Saturday morning. It's possible we could see hundreds of meteors per hour or very few at all. They will appear to come from the constellation Camelopardilis, the giraffe. Usually what I suggest to people is that you get a lawn chair, lie flat on your back, kind of facing north, You'll see them come from that direction, but they could pass overhead. And of course, if you want to see these meteors, it's very weather dependent. You're going to need clear skies. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.